Hey everyone, my name is Leonardo and I'm a Solutions Architect at the Amazon Selling Partner API team. Today, we have a new topic for you. We are going to dive deep into the pricing notifications and APIs to deploy an automated pricing app. Pricing help and any offer change notifications are key functionalities in order to drive more sales, enabling offers competitive prices. By using the pricing help notification, you will be alerted when a seller offer has become disqualified for the future offer. That can happen in two situations. First is when a seller's price is not competitive with other prices for the same product on external sites. Second is when a seller's price is substantially higher than recent sales prices for the item. When a seller's offer is disqualified from being the feature offer due to pricing, Amazon sends a pricing help notification. The notification includes details about why the offer was disqualified and provide reference prices that allow them to regain the feature offer eligibility. The Any Offer Change notification notifies the seller whenever there is a price change to any of the top 20 offers when another offer has been placed as the feature offer or if the external price changes for an item that you sell. This notification will not alert when you have been disqualified entirely from winning the feature offer. This will only be triggered by the pricing health notification. Now that we know the background of pricing notifications, let's see how we can use them to build an automated pricing sample app. These notifications are used to react against the feature offer disqualification and understand the competitor's price. The workflow implemented by the sample application ingests the any offer changed and pricing health notifications, verifying in a database if the seller offer is meeting conditions with the ASIN triggered by the notification, like same condition, same fulfillment type, and so on. After that, the pricing update is done by using the patch listings item API. The architecture being showed demonstrates how the workflow looks like. The key components of the workflow consists in event sources being primarily pricing health and any offer changed notifications, an SQS queue which acts as a buffer, receiving messages from both notifications, a DynamoDB which stores items information simulating a real environment where a seller put an, the SKU information with pricing rules assigned to it, AWS step functions where the state machine orchestrates the workflow of the lambdas function for processing SKU and updating prices. Next, we have the lambda functions itself. There are several functions to perform different steps of the workflow. Let's dive deep into each of the functions. The first lambda is the process notification. This function is triggered when messages arrive to the SQS crew, building the input payload for the step functions state machine using any offer changed and pricing health notifications. The second one is the check SKU from DB. This function fetches the aging information from the notification and checks if the ASIN, SKU, fulfillment type and condition are matching with the information registered by the seller in the database. The next lambda is the fetch pricing data. This function is triggered only for incoming any offer changed notifications when the seller offer is not being displayed as the top 20 offers. So to fetch the pricing data, we call the get pricing API. Now, going to the next lambda, let's dive deep into the calculate new price. It does the price update logic according to which notification is being processed. For the pricing health notification, it checks if the competitive price threshold is included in the notification body and if the seller is enrolled to this rule by looking the database value use competitive price. If yes, it applies a price update using competitive price threshold data, turning the offer eligible again for the feature offer. 
If not, it applies a price update using buy box price rules, decreasing a predefined value or percentage. For the any offer changed, it calculates the new list price by applying the price change rule predefined by the selling partner. For example, to reduce a fixed amount or a percentage. If the new list price is above the minimum threshold defined by the selling partner, it continues to the next step doing a price change. If not, it finalizes the execution. Now, finally to the submit price update lambda. This lambda submits the price change via the listings API using the patch listings item operation. Great, now that we've walked through the app architecture, let's see how to deploy the solution. First, we are going to clone the Selling Partner API Samples GitHub repository. This repository contains all of the sample solutions that Amazon Selling Partner API team provides. We are going to open the pricing project using the editor of your choice and look the readme file under the main folder. After reading the readme file, you will understand how to set up the app.config file with your app credentials and then set up the AWS IAM credentials to deploy the solution. Now, with our app.config file configured, we can deploy and test the solution. To do that, run the script using the code language of your choice, Python or Java located in the app slash scripts folder. Everything is created by using CloudFormation templates, and by running the script, it will launch all of the resources showed in the architecture explanation. After deployment completion, it's time to put the sample solution under test. Open the readme file again, as it contains instructions on how to test the sample solution. You will notice that we are going to input some sample data into the DynamoDB and send a sample message through the SQS. After sending the SQS message, the step functions will be triggered, showing a workflow initiated by the pricing health notification. Use the graph view and step detailed panel to check the status and dive deep into individual steps, which will also help you fetch logs and lambda functions for related steps. And guess what? After the pricing notification is processed and having all the conditions meeting between the notifications and the DB, you will see that all of the step function states are green and the listings API was called to submit a price update. By clicking in the end state, the step functions output will show the new price. So today, 
we learned about how to deal with pricing notifications and how to set an automated pricing app. That's all I had for you today. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more SP API related videos. Happy coding from all of us from the Amazon Selling Partner API team and thanks for watching.